Today we're going to learn about liquid volume measurement. We're going to learn how to estimate the relative size of liquid volume capacity and how to convert measurements among the customary system and the metric system of liquid volume measurement. We will begin by talking about the customary units of liquid volume. We can use one cup, abbreviated by the letter C, to measure liquid volume, one pint, abbreviated with the letters P, T, one quart, abbreviated with the letter Q, T, and one gallon, abbreviated by the letter G. So to estimate one cup of liquid capacity, we can think of one cup of coffee. To estimate one pint of liquid capacity, we can think of a pint of ice cream. To estimate a quart of liquid capacity, we can think of a container of oil that you would use to have your oil changed in your car. And to estimate one gallon of liquid capacity, we can think of a gallon of milk. I'm going to use this sentence stem to estimate the relative size of the liquid capacity in different containers. So the estimated liquid volume of the blank is blank. About how many quarts equal the liquid volume of this fish tank? The estimated liquid volume of the fish tank is about 30 quarts. About how many pints equal the capacity of this cooler? The estimated liquid volume capacity of this cooler is about 15 pints. We've added another blank to the sentence then. The estimated blank of the blank is blank. For example, the estimated liquid volume of the pool is blank gallons. So about how many gallons do you think it would take to fill that pool? It would take about 20 gallons. So our sentence then would read, the estimated liquid volume of the pool is 20 gallons. About how many cups equal the capacity of a pot? The estimated liquid volume of the pot is 40 cups. Now we're going to talk about the metric units of liquid volume. We can use one liter or one milliliter to measure liquid volume. One liter is equivalent to a Gatorade bottle. One milliliter is equivalent to one drop out of a medicine dropper or eye dropper. So a milliliter is a very, very small amount. A blank has the estimated liquid volume that is about blank milliliters. So here we have a ketchup bottle. A ketchup bottle has an estimated liquid volume that is about 375 milliliters. A Windex bottle has an estimated liquid volume that is about one liter. We are now going to look at how a table can help us understand converting between units. In this table, we'll be converting from milliliters to liters. We're going to answer the question, which numerical expression can be used to determine the number of liters that equal 7,000 milliliters? We can use the star reference chart to help us with these conversions. You will see that the metric system is labeled on the chart. We have one liter equals 1,000 milliliters. So our numerical expression would be the number of milliliters divided by 1,000 would equal the number of liters. So if we have 1,000 milliliters and we divide by 1,000, that would equal 1 liter. 2,000 milliliters divided by 1,000 equals 2 milliliters, right? 2 liters. 5,000 milliliters divided by 1,000 equals 5 liters. So what would the numerical expression be to find the number of liters that equals 7,000 milliliters? 7,000 divided by 1,000 equals 7 liters. 